Our unit has a capacity of 22 cots. Uh, the unit consists of the ITU room, the special care room and the HDU room. And uh, we have babies here coming here from 27 weeks. And babies with less than 27 weeks go to Queen Charlotte Hospital in Hammersmith. Together we have uh, over 10,000 annual births. And that sort of makes us one of the biggest trust within the Northwest London region. On our unit, we've got uh, Draga products as the Baby Leo, and we've got the Isolate incubators and the Billy Lux. The way I look at it, roughly 60% of term babies have jaundice within the first you know, seven days of life. And about 80% of them have jaundice when they're born premature. Not all babies need treatment and most of them resolve spontaneously as the babies get bigger. Most of the premature babies, we, uh, we normally test the serum bilirubin by taking blood tests. You know, on admission, we do blood tests and at the same time, we will do a serum bilirubin. And we've got our guidelines about uh, how to proceed with the treatment. So it's according to where the jaundice level is because on our guidelines we have a chart which tells us when to start phototherapy and when to stop the phototherapy if it is according to the gestation of the baby. This is the concept that needs a lot of cultural change and I would say it's not only in our hospitals, I think it is all over UK. We have all the nurses and doctors in UK have grown with the concept that there's single, double and triple phototherapy. Yes, we do believe that the distance between the baby and the light should be about 30 to 40 centimetres. Most of the units would follow 40 centimetres. But the concept of irradiance is very, very little, if you like. Um, having worked with Billy Lux now for some time and having looked at all the data, I do feel that's a very important thing that, that one can monitor. And one can then estimate the dose that is delivered from phototherapy to the babies. But definitely irradiance is very important, I feel. I feel if we can manage that and if we can monitor that on a regular basis and make sure that we're giving the adequate wavelengths to the babies during the phototherapy, we will definitely reduce the duration. And by reducing the duration, you're actually automatically saving or rather reducing the side effects uh, of the treatment itself. What I have noticed in the few days that I have seen the Billy Lux is actually, one is it's, it's very convenient for the place where we work. It's not as bulky as what I've seen from the other phototherapy lights. As Billy Lux is only one piece of equipment, so it's quite easy to set it on a single, double and triple phototherapy. Uh, with uh, Billy Lux, how it's not cumbersome, so it's not, you don't have to put the stand with the incubator, it can be applied on the incubator and uh, it's easy access for the nurses to access the baby and also for the parents when they are around as well. And um, it has got a light which we can use even if the phototherapy is on. And also we can measure the irradiance, which is we measure the irradiance before we start the phototherapy. It gives you also the length of the duration because you can press on the button and put the length of the duration, how long the baby has been under phototherapy. You know, you're just causing more benefit. You get the baby home quicker, you reduce your length of stay. You make the parents happy because, you know, the parents can continue to breastfeed the baby and they're not daunted with hundreds of lights or multiple lights. Uh, but at the same time, you know, they, they, they can be with the baby if that makes more sense. And developmentally, if you see less noise, more spending with the baby, more attachment, more bonding, all these would, in effect, you know, just make the whole experience of phototherapy very good for the parents.